so today we are going to discuss the effect of normal and deep breathing on the heart rate on the heart rate the effect of breathing on the heart rate is recorded with the help of a machine known as cardio tachometer this machine basically records the heart rate in variation with the strength or the depth of the breathing and this strip obtained from cardio tachometer showing two components of the breathing and two components of the heart rate the initial recording shows normal pattern of breathing and with the normal pattern of breathing this cardio tachometer shows that the variation in the heart rate is almost negligible all there is almost no change or about a 5% 5% change in the heart rate in the duration of successive qrs complexes while a person is breathing normally but when a person is breathing deeply the variation in the heart rate increase and the spike of this graph the height of this graph basically shows the duration of the qrs complexes more the height of or the spike more the height of this spike more is the duration between the successive qrs complexes so if we see during deep breathing the heart rate increase and decrease increase and decrease increase and decrease in the distance between qrs complex the variation in between the the distance between the two rs qrs complexes keep on increasing and decreasing when the heart rate decrease the distance between two qrs complex increase and there is a spike on the cardio tachometer recording when the heart rate increase the distance between two QR QRS complexes decrease and the the spike of the cardio tachometer peak uh, strip decrease so there is an effect on the heart rate due to deep breathing why there is an effect of deep breathing on the heart rate why with the help with deep breathing the heart rate increase and decrease while during normal breathing the heart rate is almost normal at the 70 it's because there are two centers in the human brain one is the respiratory center and one is the vasomotor center now when normal breathing is occurring there is no spill over of impulses from the respiratory center towards the vasomotor center but during deep breathing there is spill over spillage of impulses from the respiratory center towards the vasomotor center which is basically supplying the heart we discussed previously that the heart is supplied by both sympathetic and parasympathetic nerve sympathetic nerves basically increase the heart rate increase the strength of contraction while parasympathetic nerves they decrease the heart rate decrease the strength of contraction so thus the impulses during the deep breathing when they spill over from the respiratory center in the brain to the vasomotor center in the brain it increases the strength of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves in cycles sometimes in one portion of the cycle it increases the sympathetic so the heart rate increases while in the other portion of the cycle it increases the impulses of parasympathetic so the heart rate decreases so that's all about the effect of deep breathing on the heart rate and it's recording with the help of cardio tachometer and we see that normally the variation between the the size or the duration of two qrs complex is negligible 
but when a person is breathing deeply the variation between the sizes and the distance between the QRS complexes increase and decrease about 30% and that's because during deep breathing there is spillover of impulses from the respiratory center towards the medulla uh, vasomotor center and there is increase and decrease of sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves which increase and decrease the heart rate during respiratory cycle so that's all about the cardio tachometer and effect of deep breathing on the heart rate thanks a lot for watching the video